Okay, golfers, Kevin Haim here with our June uh, 2019 Flagstick Golf Tip. You can find it in Flagstick Golf Magazine or right here on flagstick.com, of course. Uh, we're talking about the swinging of the golf club, the path I want the club to swing on this month. And, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to the exact path the club should swing on, but there is a corridor of success, and that's what I call it with my students, a line that we want to stay inside of. We don't want to go too low of it into a do not enter zone, and then we don't want to lift up into this do not enter zone. As long as you get the golf club swinging over on itself, your different proportions and your swing shapes and everything will allow for a little bit of variance. But let me show you where you don't want to go. So when I stand over a golf ball and I put my golf club down, the line that extends out the club and through my belt buckle and out the back of me is called my shaft plane. For obvious reasons, it goes right up the club shaft. And when I swing back, I'm trying to swing the golf club on that line. That's the nicest, most natural, simple way to swing a golf club. If you get back in here by turning your wrists or having a little bit of flexion, a lot of uh, people slice the golf ball and so then they feel like if they keep the club close, they'll be in a better spot. That's a do not enter zone. Anytime you go below the shaft line, you're in trouble. Because what'll happen is as you go to swing the club down, it's behind you, so it will have to come over the top and slice the ball. And for those of you who manage to keep it under here, you'll just hit it way out to your open side. So when you swing the club back, you want to swing the club on the shaft line, and then it starts turning over its, on itself and flows up into my chest. And as I get to the top of the golf swing, the other plane line I'm concerned about, we call the Ben Hogan plane. And Ben Hogan explained, famous book, 1957, Five Lessons, the Modern Fundamentals of Golf. And he had this great image. And the image was of him standing over a ball with a giant pane of glass on his shoulders. His head was poking through. And the idea was that that line started at the top of the ball and traveled up onto his shoulders. And when he swung, he didn't want his hands, arms, or club to shatter the glass. That again, anything up over that glass resting on your shoulders is another do not enter zone. So when you lift or turn your club in your hands like that, move your wrists improperly, your arms improperly, get a little bit of a chicken wing. When you do anything like that, you get above the Hogan plane and again, probably going to hit from outside to in like so many of you struggle with. So when you're practicing, understand a couple of things. You're trying to get the golf club to swing on itself, turn over and be as natural and swingy as it can be. Try not to at the start manipulate it by pulling it inside the shaft plane and getting the club stuck behind you. And then in an effort to hit it a little harder, try not to lift or turn the club this way to get above the Hogan plane. If you can control your golf club and swing it up and down through these two spots, you'll have a lot more success hit a lot better shots. Uh, great idea to, to videotape yourself on your iPhone or on your Samsung Galaxy. Have a look at it, try to get in front of a mirror maybe, and just practice keeping the golf club in that little corridor of success between the Hogan plane and the shaft plane, and you'll hit better golf shots.